your code sucks. But that's okay, here are 10 ways to make it better. Writing clean code is an essential skill that every programmer should master. It not only helps make your code more readable and maintainable, but it also saves you time in the long run. So without further ado, let's dive into our top 10 tips. Tip number one, using consistent naming conventions. In order to make your code more organized and understandable, it's important to use consistent naming conventions throughout your code. These refer to the same naming conventions for variables, functions, classes, and other code elements. Not only does this help make your code more readable, but it also helps other developers who are working on the same project to understand the code better. One of the other benefits of consistent naming conventions is that it makes it easier to identify what each element of the code does. By doing this, it becomes easier to understand what each variable, function, or class is responsible for. Also, using consistent naming conventions can help prevent errors and bugs in your code. When you use the same naming conventions throughout your entire code, it is less likely that you will accidentally use the wrong name for a very variable or function, and this can help prevent errors that can be difficult to track down later. These are important practice for any programmer who wants to write clean and understandable code. Number two, keep your functions short. Short functions help avoid cluttered code that is difficult to read and understand. In order to keep code functions compact, it's advised to break them down into smaller functions. This approach will provide you with more flexibility and modularity, making it easier to maintain and upgrade your code in the future. Tip number three, comment your code. You should be doing this anyway. Comments are crucial to help other developers understand your code, and it can also help you remember what you were thinking when you wrote the code. There are different types of comments that you can use in your code, such as block comments, single line comments, and inline comments. Block comments are usually used to provide an overview of the code, while single line comments are usually used to explain specific lines of code. Inline comments are used to explain code on the same line. Another benefit of commenting your code is that it can make things easier to debug. When you encounter an error in your code, the comments can help you pinpoint the source of the problem. Commenting your code can make it easier for you and other developers to collaborate with you on a project. They can better understand your code and make the necessary changes, which can save both time and effort. However, be careful not to over comment your code as too many comments can become distracting and make your code harder to read. A good rule of thumb is to use comments strategically where they are most needed and to write them in a clear and concise manner. Tip number four, use version control. Version control is essentially a tool for any developer who wants to keep their code organized, efficient, and error-free. By using a version control system like Git, you can easily keep track of the changes you made to your code, collaborate with other developers, and revert to previous versions of your code if necessary. Not only does version control improve your workflow and make it easier to manage your code, but it also provides a safety net in case something goes wrong. With version control, you can experiment with different approaches to coding without worrying about losing your work. If something goes wrong, you can just simply revert back to the previous version of your code and try again. In addition, it also makes it easier to work with teams. By using version control system like Git, you can collaborate with other developers on the same code base without worrying about conflicts or overwriting each other's code. Version control is an essential tool for any developer who wants to work efficiently, collaborate effectively, and produce high quality codes. Number five, don't repeat yourself. Our fifth tip is to follow the DRY principle, which stands for don't repeat yourself. This is a crucial aspect of software development. In essence, DRY means that you should strive to avoid duplicating code and instead reuse existing code whenever possible. This approach is only to make things cleaner and more organized. It can also save you a lot of time in the long run. By not having to rewrite the same code over and over again, you can focus your efforts on more important tasks such as adding new features, improving performance, or fixing those bugs. By breaking your code down into smaller, more reusable modules, you can create more flexible and scalable software that is easier to maintain and extend. It allows you to avoid the common pitfalls of copying and pasting code. The dry principle is a key best practice that every software developer should strive to adopt. By doing so, you can improve the quality and efficiency of your code while also reducing the likelihood of introducing new errors and inconsistencies. Number six, use white space effectively. White space, such as blank lines, and indentations help make your code more readable and easier to understand. However, be careful not to use too much white space as this can make your code look cluttered. One way to use it effectively is to organize your code into logical sections. For example, you could group related functions or methods together and separate them from other groups with a blank line. 
In addition, you can use Whitespace to format your code in a way that makes it more aesthetically pleasing. For example, you could use an indentation to align code blocks or create a visual hierarchy of elements. It's important to remember that using Whitespace effectively is not just about aesthetics or readability. It can also have a significant impact on the performance, especially when it comes to web development. By minimizing the amount of Whitespace in your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files, you can reduce their file size and overall improve your performance. Tip number seven, test your code. Testing your code is an essential step in the development process, which helps to ensure that it works and as it's expected to. By testing your code, you can identify potential issues and address them before they become more significant problems. And there are various ways of testing frameworks. Oh my God, can you scroll up? I know, dude, I was in. <laughs> there are various testing frameworks and tools available, so choose the ones that work best for you. For example, unit testing, integration testing, and acceptance testing are all types of testing that you can use to verify your code. Testing your code can improve the quality of your software and increase customer satisfaction. So don't forget to test your code to ensure that it meets the highest standards of quality and reliability. Tip number eight, use descriptive variable names. Descriptive variable names make your code more readable and help other developers to understand what your code is doing. Instead of using single letter variable names, or generic names like temp or data, use names that accurately reflect the purpose and content of the variable. For example, if you are storing a user's name, use a variable like username or first name. If you are storing a price, use a variable like price or item price. Number nine, avoid magic numbers. Our ninth tip is to avoid magic numbers in your code. Magic numbers are hard-coded values that have no context and can be difficult to understand and maintain. They create an opaque layer, which makes your code less readable. Instead, use constants or variables with descriptive names to give your code more meaning. This will help make your code much easier to understand and modify in the future. For example, instead of writing this, you could write this. This way, anyone who reads your code will know exactly what you're talking about and what the code is supposed to do. And another advantage of using constants or variables is that they allow you to make changes more easily. If you need to change the value of a constant, you only have to make the change in one place. If you have a magic number multiple times in your code, you would need to change it everywhere, which can be time consuming and error prone. By using constants or variables, you can avoid these issues and make your code much more robust and maintainable. Tip number 10, our last tip, stay up to date with the best practices in programming. Programming languages and frameworks are constantly evolving and it's important to keep up with the latest best practices. Follow industry blogs, join online communities, join dev slopes, and stay informed. One way to stay up to date with the latest best practices is to follow industry blogs. These blogs often feature in-depth analysis of new technologies and techniques, as well as discussion on emerging trends. By reading these regularly, you can gain insight to the latest development and stay ahead of the curve. Remember, staying up to date is essential for developers, especially in today's fast paced industry. Those are your top 10 tips for writing better code. I hope you guys like this video. I'm keeping it short and sweet. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.